times on. All right. So what I have here is, ladies and gentlemen, is it says you invest $1,000 into account, earning an annual interest rate of 6% compounded monthly for 40 years. How are you going to determine your final value um, that you're looking at after 40 years? So the formula we use looks like this. A times P times 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T. All right, and you're like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff to go through. All right, so you guys will have the formula, but you need to understand what exactly each part of the formula is. So A is what we call our final amount. P represents our principal, which is our initial amount. All right, R represents our annual interest rate. And that's in decimal form. N represents the number of compounds per year. And T represents years. OK? So when doing compound interest and stuff like that, that's, what you, that's the main important thing which you guys need to take off um, from those. All right? So let's go ahead and let's go and see from our formula. A equals P times 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T. Let's see, do we know what each one is? Do we know what the final amount is, A? No, that's what we're trying to figure out. Do we know P, our principal? Yeah, yeah that's $1,000. Do we know what the interest rate is? 6%. And to put 6% in a decimal, it's going to be 0.06. Do we know the number of times it's going to be compound per year? It says it's going to compound 12 times monthly, so that's going to be 12 times. And the number of years is going to be 40. OK? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now what we have is we have everything we need. We just need to plug it now into our formula. So we say A equals. Uh, I put it over there. $1,000 times 1 plus <laughs> my rate, 0 0.06, divided by 12, raised times 12 times 40. I thought I had my calculator. It was right there. Oops. So now, what we need to do is go ahead and apply order of operations to solve the remainder of this. Right? Good. So to do apply order of operations, the first thing I need to do is inside my parentheses, um, well, I can do 12 times 40 probably first. So that'd be 480. So let's just rewrite that to 480. All right, so now by applying my order of operations inside, I'll do 0 0.06 divided by 12 plus 1. So therefore, I have now A equals $1,000 times 1.005 raised to 480. All right, so I like to get to this point because, ladies and gentlemen, when you're using your calculator, I do not want you guys approximating. You got to be very clear, careful with approximating in compound interest because all you have to do is be off a couple pennies and then the whole problem can get changed very quickly. So now I take 1.005, raise it to 480. And I get 10.95745367, and that's going to keep on going on. And I multiply that by 1,000. So therefore, I have my final amount is A equals $10,957.45. OK? So that's all you guys are doing with compound interest is just plugging it in. OK? So. The only really difference mostly you guys